I'm Dr. Hiller Spires, Alumni Distinguished Graduate Professor and Senior Research Fellow at the Friday Institute for Educational Innovation in the College of Education at North Carolina State University. I recently edited Digital Transformation and Innovation in Chinese Education. It's been published by IGI Global. I've been working in China and with Chinese educators for the past decade and I realized that there was a need to highlight innovation that is happening in K-12 education. Many would probably agree with me that educational transformation lies at the center of creating a new generation with the heart and mind for solving our world's most pressing issues. Critical and complex challenges such as socioeconomic inequality, extreme poverty, climate change, food scarcity, water quality, to name a few, require global, multifaceted solutions. With more than 1.4 billion people, the People's Republic of China is a critical piece of this puzzle in solving our global problems. In recent years, the People's Republic of China has experienced profound economic and social change as it emerged as an economic superpower. It doesn't take long while visiting China or collaborating with Chinese colleagues from afar to experience how change is permeating the country, resulting in both opportunities and challenges. The book that I edited is divided into four sections. The first section is designing digital systems for educational reform in China. The second is creating innovative schools and classrooms in China. The third is embracing dynamic partnerships, geographic mobility, and educational innovation in China. And finally, enhancing rural education through technology in China. In each of the chapters, the authors highlight the general drivers of innovation and examples of pockets of educational innovation throughout the country. Clearly, articulating and describing examples of digital transformation and innovation within school systems, as well as individual classrooms, provide valuable prototypes for others within and outside of China. In so doing, the odds of scale-up, while extremely challenging, are more favorable. Of particular interest within this edited book is that the majority of the chapters are co-authored by Chinese and non-Chinese researchers. I was intentional about this design so as to not simply highlight insider and outsider perspectives but rather to have the authors negotiate their understandings across cultural biases in order to produce a multicultural, co-authored piece of work. This design, in and of itself, may be one of the most salient contribution of this edition. My hope is that this book will continue and contribute to our understanding of China's evolving educational system and how this transformation will affect our world at large. I think the book will be of interest to researchers and practitioners alike, both in and outside of China.